Welcome back, everybody. We're back with Brew Barons here, and uh, I've got two days left to go on a contract. Uh, I've got to find some wispy wheat. I think I've got a lead on that. I flew back to the hangar here and unloaded some inventory, and I wanted to look at maybe some upgrades on the plane here. Yeah, medium winch. You know, I'm just thinking about like those sunken wrecks have just, I mean, there's been gold in them. They've just been really quite helpful. So I'm thinking that, that upgrading the wench might be good. And I mean, it's gonna be expensive. I mean, it's gonna take a lot of my gold, but I think we're gonna do it. All right, boy, see now, one click and it's done. Like your gold goes fast, you know? <laughs> Heavy winch. And there we go. And we, you know, we might be able to do like a cage trap or something later. I don't catch underwater ingredients, so yeah. We'll we'll see. I mean, what you know what? Let's just do it. We're here. We're buying stuff. All right. Now let's get back out there and see if we can find the wispy wheat. Once again, many thanks to the developers for the key. And I posted on their uh, their Steam discussion board about, you know, what do I need to do to find this wheat? So I did quite a bit of searching last time. And it sounds as though it's in the air. I think it's up in these little jet stream looking things. I saw one over on the other side of the island. I might need to go look over there. Yeah. All right, we'll head over to uh, right there. We'll go see if that's it. Or maybe it's in the balloons? I don't know, they didn't... The devs didn't just directly tell me where it was. But, I mean, wispy wheat, you know, it could make sense that the wind would get a hold of it and perhaps pick it up. No, we just don't, we don't have, oh, oh, there's stuff down. Ooh, three pieces. A... I think I've spotted something over there. Yeah, just <laughs> way too late. Thanks for your help. Oh gosh, is that way over there? All right. I mean, it's not this, is it? I don't want to. Did you see the look on that guy's face? <laughs> right. <laughs> Okay, well, they s okay. Should have gotten some more water while I was down there. I don't want to get too close to that thing. One. Let's go try, I perceive that this one might be a little bit closer. I may also be hilariously incorrect. See, there's like stuff in there. And I thought that was all just wind. Yeah, there it is. I don't know how much of it we need. Now we at least know where to look for it, you know, in order to get up to the... Ooh. To make just 20 of that vodka, I mean... Maybe if we fly s slower through here, we'll be in it longer. Yeah, there we go. All right. 
I would not have realized this, so many, many thanks to the devs for pointing this out. And you know, it actually occurred to me while I was kind of struggling to look for this, like it would be kind of neat if there was like a, uh, like a grocery store or like a, you know, a, a supply shop you could just land at and spend some gold on, you know, stuff like this. If you just cannot find it or you can't figure out. I mean, you can always go on the Discord or their uh, discussion boards. That'd be kind of a neat in-game solution, you know? Maybe they have something like that, I don't know. So, yeah, so this wind is like, it's moving. Okay, that's kind of cool. Hope you're doing well whenever you're watching this. I've been doing some real life flying recently. Little little stuff. Mostly flying a Piper right now. A little uh, Piper Cherokee. Fixed gear, 180 horsepower. I like it. Ooh. Bet those are pirates up there flying in formation. I don't know if I trust Volter to just like reach out and grab this stuff, you know. All right, time to make some vodka and what do they want 12 between 12 and 24 percent wispy wheat vodka uh i mean do i have just this here Oh, we don't have a recipe for it yet. Hmm, well... I think we just put it all in there and we see what happens. Uh... Literally all of it. Trying to make vodka. Let's hear between 12 and 24 percent. Ooh, I think it's going to have to be distilled. So that, yeah, that might do it. Yeah, vodka, lower yield. Okay, higher alcohol percentage. All right, ferment and distill. Good. Wispy wheat vodka. Made 41 of them, goodness gracious. Just random it up. It looks like a vodka bottle, sure. Okay. Good. And then we had we had a contract for beer, prickly wheat. I mean How much prickly wheat do we have? We could do that. 76. Yeah, 35% plus. I mean, we're going to be fine. And then Apple. And at least 20 something percent. Oof. I might have messed that up. Let's see. Yeah, I needed to go. I don't know. 30, well, 30%. Let's see. See, but once I add in more of this stuff, I needed to, hang on, we are going to reset. All right, we'll go ahead and go like 
35 of those. Put in all the apple we have. And then we'll zhuzh it up with some prickly wheat. We get there, 20%, 35%. Yep, okay, that should do it. Crisp prickly lager. What was his requirement? Oh uh, no, I can't look. I'm gonna guess. I'll take it 13%. Ah oh, boy, I could be, <laughs> I could really be messing this up. I should have accepted that contract before I, ah, well, whatever. If you're not about doing things efficiently, it's gonna get us to 13, we'll do a little bit more. Ooh, right at 14, okay. Let's try it. Sludge prickly lager, what happened? 80 units of that stuff, bleh, all right. Well, messed that one up somehow. Made it too. Yeah, I don't know. I've got time to. Anyway. Okay, let's see our products. Inventory. She just wanted 20, I think. So we'll take 23 just in case something happens. Good. Okay. Now we can finally go and deliver this stuff. Oh, darn it. What happened there is that I hit the D button for a little bit of a uh, right rudder, but D is also dock in this game, so... Since I was still close to the docking area, I just docked myself. Heck yeah, 300 knots, straight at your building. No big deal, everybody. Buckle up! We need to gather up some more ingredients here at some point. Okay. Try not to damage the plane too much. We got 97 knots, 95. You know what? That was not too bad, all right. <laughs> I can shoot the water gun in the water. And also flip the propeller pitch around if I need to back in. Okay. Delivery. Nice to see you barons back. My spirit friends seem more energetic with your return. Perhaps you brought my brew order. Mayhaps. Let's take a look then. This is what you brought? I could feel uneasy spirits swarm my soul when you pulled this low quality brew out. They sense its negativity. I hope I can sell it. Oh. And soon. She's got a ghost. There is there is a legit ghost over there. Our contractual agreement is fulfilled, and my spirits seem to flow with positivity. Well done. Positivity? You were just trash talking me. Have you returned to make up for that low quality brew you brought last time? No. I haven't even left. I thank you for the offer, my barons. Though my patrons and spirit friends are rather content with the stock we Okay, so you have you returned to make up for No. Um all right. Despite my patrons not seeing nor feeling the presence of ghosts in my bar, some are uncomfortable by my claim to communicate with the wandering souls of the past. Why these spirits tend to congregate here, I am unsure. Perhaps because I display no fear and show genuine intrigue to hear their story. The amount of souls I've met, the stories I've heard. There's no bounds to the complexity, beauty, and terror of mankind. 
my time with these spirits have been truly an enlightening experience. Okay, all right, good story. <laughs> Farewell. Brew review, Nodax Wispy Wheat Vodka, somewhat mediocre, one out of five. Latest drink to be served at Nodax has been received with indifference from patrons. <laughs> it's vodka, uh, but patrons complained of a flat texture and bland flavor. Mm, okay. Pirate smog and uh, another ship on fire. Well, you know what? There's only so much that I can do to make all you people happy. Well, they seem pretty happy with that delivery. And they should be. I would have been mighty pleased to drink that. <laughs> okay, Walter. Uh... I wanted, yeah, here we go. Contracts. Yeah, so prickly wheat. Ah, 14%. Well, I don't know. That's the only contract I've got offered right now. Might as well. Uh, let's see. Okay. Great opportunity to change up the prop pitch and back right out of there. If you've never seen an airplane in real life, like, change its prop pitch to back up. Mostly turbo props that, that do it. It's pretty darn cool. I remember seeing that when I was a kid for the first time. It was like a, it was a big crop duster. And it was just like, oh, no problem. I can back into that parking spot. Just a second. Oh, hang on. Got another sunken ship out here. It's frustrating that she sees it before Walter does. He'll see it when we're like on it. Nice landing. That was just about as smooth as mine were back in the day. No one believes you, Walter. I hate to tell you, buddy. Almost there. Get to try out the heavier winch. Winch? <laughs> heavier winch, excuse me. <laughs> winch is something different. <laughs> okay, so... Yeah, we've got the heavier one now. So I do, it doesn't look like I've got the... You know, like the option to drop down a crate if I wanted to go after those... Sharks or something. Start with the big one. Oh, get it. Get it. You got it. You got it. That thing. That thing is. Oops. I wasn't bringing it up. I was pulling it sideways. That was silly. Excuse me, sharks. All right, I think we made it. Pressure washer equipment. Hmm, okay. I don't even know. I wonder if this one, you know, this one's blue when they've had other color. I wonder if this one's like rare or something. Or if that's the cage, that might, yeah, that might be the cage to catch ingredients. Ah. Cool. All right, well, anything else down here? Hiding over here in the corner or anything? Nope. Okay, so that, that blue square thing might have been how we could catch some of these fish. I don't know. Oh yeah, I just gotta hit X, that's right. I don't I don't need to pull it all the way up. Let's go ahead and swap pilots here. Now that he is rested. Now we gotta go start collecting the stuff for the beer. And we had one that was apples and prickly wheat. And I'm, I just messed that up with grapes last time, I guess, so... We're not gonna do that this time, obviously. There's some grape trees... Uh, right there, maybe.
Yep, just regular trees. I'm just terrorizing the community. My, my mistake, everybody. You know, it used to be pretty common. Well, I mean, it still is, but a number of pilots would kind of build hours through crop dusting. So they'd be, you know, flying low and flying under power lines sometimes and whatnot. But it really, you know, flight instruction is really the way that a lot of pilots build time these days in terms of just getting enough hours to go fly for the airlines or whatever the case is. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm still not totally sure why it was that that last drink turned to, to sludge or sludge. I think maybe grapes ended up being the second highest ingredient but apples were supposed to be the second highest Ooh, all right that's really we'll be fine so maybe i just didn't quite have enough apples I gotta say, you know, I'm, I'm making a lot of money with each one of these deliveries, which is good. I mean, you know, this could be, it, it could be really quite tedious if it was, you know, slower. Whoops. Drop some of these, I'll come back for them later. We're still just at... One prestige, yeah, we're not even at the highest. Smooth landing there. We're not even at one prestige star yet. We're at like 20% 20, 20 of one. Yeah, I was thinking, are you looking for any other pilots? Think of all the time we could spend together if I joined. I fly to the, there it is. Oh gosh. Yeah, Francie just got tired from her mom calling. <laughs> I hope that I don't end up being a parent like that you know it is tough though with your kids you know you want to be there you want to be involved but you got to give them their space you got to you know get to have faith transfer all and put that up there sure transfer uh da -da -da -da. Prickly wheat main ingredient. Just beer. We are going to make something that is not awful this time. I swear it. <laughs> now, I wonder if I can... Yeah, will it tell me what we have the stuff for? It will, but it doesn't look like I have any of it. Short on apples there. Okay, yeah. No? That'll be an easy way to make things going. So let's see our upgrades. 15% value bonus to all beer production. 10% yield bonus to all fermented drinks. Hmm. 12 gold though. Gets me more. Every time I make a beer or something, I get more of them to sell. That's not bad. Been making a lot of beers. Gosh, I wish, I wish there was a, are you sure? <laughs> you know, I accidentally bought the fuselage to a heavy aircraft last, <laughs> last time. And like, oh gosh, I didn't even mean to do that. <laughs> okay, there we go. Inventory, you only wanted 50 something of them, but. Yeah, we'll do 60 and the rest can go to our bar. How are things going up there, anyway? Ruslana, Farmer Gus, doing some things. Did you manage to collect some produce for me? Uh, no, I'm not. See, this this would be the guy where 
You know, maybe he could sell us. Like, oh, you were looking for wispy wheat? Sure, no problem. I can hook you up with that. And how about you? Hello, Inspector. It's nice of you to come and visit us. Can I get you a drink? Why, yes. I hope you have something a little better than last time. Did I mean quality three? You want the mead? Thank you. Let's see how this tastes. Quite a good brew you have here. You show some promise. Thank you. Pirate gunships are reportedly sighted over Volku. They are harassing anyone who tries to enter the area. No problem. Sales report. How we doing? Um, okay. Made some... Quite a bit off that mead. Yeah. Prickly lager's got some high, uh... Popularity as well. Okay. You know what? We're gonna be fine. Fuel prices the way they are. You don't fill up until you absolutely have to. Everybody knows this. I feel like that thing is getting closer. <laughs> Coming in low. Final pass, this collection. Coming in low, reckless, a little bit sideways, stomp that rudder. Love it. All right. Let's go unload, refuel, and head out into the Wild Blue Yonder. I know there's a bar out there that is a shout out to the Rug. We've got to find it. Maybe we'll Very smooth landing. I can tell you've done this before. Maybe we can upgrade the plane a little bit too. I mean, just with the rate that money is coming in, I think those mechanical parts are going to be the uh, like one of the, the primary factors. Repair. Fully repair. All oh, right, not even one gold. Good. Refuel. Load her up. Okay. Minus 80% cargo weight. Jeez. Rapid Immelman turn. Hard crash will always cause pilot incapacitation. Pilot incapacitation lasts longer. Oof. Each consecutive hit on a pirate boss awards money. The lower your health, the larger the amount. Missed shots sometimes cause pilot fatigue. That's not good. Ooh, water missiles. <clears throat> we can lock on enemies. We have not seen those. Adds extra width when wheat mowing. <laughs> Wings are brittle. Take minor damage. Pirate weapons are less accurate for stealth wings. Hmm. Periodically scatters flyers, earning tiny amounts of fame. I mean, fame is my biggest thing right now, frankly. I might do that. Engine upgrades, hybrid engine. Okay, propeller. Pruner. Pulls collectible materials from pirate gunships when close. Ooh, that's interesting. Creates a dense barrier of air that acts as a shield when traveling at low speed. Mid-air refueling planes. Spilt fuel caused by nozzle damage will cost you. That's kind of cool. A gopher potato gun. <laughs> awesome. Alcohol rounds. Yeah, bottles of brew that burst into concussive ball of fire. Quest time to complete, but I mean, as long as I still have the opportunity to 
wait to accept it. That could be good. I mean, getting more fame. Maybe do this one. And those pontoons that earn me more fame. Let's do it. And any other upgrades we need here? Water bomb, water bolt, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. bolt damage increase. money right now okay so I still don't have many other people I don't know what that's all about so let's see how can I modify my plane okay I'm good with that pontoons coin detector scatters flyers <laughs> well, it cost me money just to put it on too huh Oh, and it makes it, and we, we go to the three, the three setup. Interesting. All right, well, let's give it a shot. And then what was the other thing we were going to do? Ornament. Ace. <laughs> a little bull head or something, lion maybe. We'll also pull harmful scrap towards the airplane. That's interesting. I wonder what that's all about. All right. Now, anything else? Okay. Mixing up the plane a little bit. Um, let's see if we can make, before we leave, let's see if we can make anything high quality. We can be selling in the bar while we're gone. <laughs> I forget. What is it? The bar... We get bonuses with some types of stuff here in the bar. What is it? Uh, beer, wine, and mead. Let's try and make a nice beer, maybe. Like something fancy, you know, like a bush light, you know. <laughs> yeah, bar still has some good stuff to sell. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go explore, by golly. See what sort of trouble... What sort of trouble we can get into? Fuel check, three quarters full. Thought I'd just... Okay. I mean, since we must have gotten more fuel based on one of the upgrades. Ah, yeah. It leans a little bit more with the center pontoon. Is it going to level out? There we go. <laughs> I did not think about where I'm going to go. We know down there they want me to be higher... Let's go check out this place. When we're leaving town, town folks know it. It occurs to me that we could probably, like, save a bunch of fuel by reducing... Ooh! Well, we got fine 15. Did it? Yeah! There you go, but our our prestige went up a little bit. That was good. Some more gold. It's good if we're getting fined periodically. Uh, to be fair, once we're out here over the water, hopefully we won't get fined for, you know, bland tangerine whiskey. Anything that's like description begins with bland, you know it's going to be quality. There we go, there's the little village. Now last time we were out in the middle of nowhere, we definitely saw like a whale. Whoop. Okay, we got fine 45 right there. And we definitely just littered. Just wantonly out in the middle of nowhere. I do not feel good about that one. 
Save some fuel while we continue to rely on our water boost here. Oh no! Okay, well, we've got... We've got enough money to deal with that, but, like, it happens sort of a lot. <laughs> I wonder if, you know, since we made this pontoon, I wonder if we'll have to make it again, like, next time, you know. Always. The island of Karmic. See a couple planes up there flying around. Pirate gunships in the area. Hmm. You're meddling in pirate business. You have one minute to leave before we attack you. Interesting. Is that you up there? I ain't scared. Hey, idiots. You even listening? 30 more seconds. Better get lost. You're asking for it. I welcome the challenge. <laughs> We're really just down here. What is that? That smog made the engine cut out. Try the ignition. Uh oh. difficult are these things to shoot down? That's going to be the question. Let's see what we have down here. Okay, we've got a dock. Shipyard. Droog's place! There it is! That is a shout out to Roog. I offered to have them just use, you know, Roog just generally, but I think, you know, they were... I didn't really know what the story was with all the dogs on my channel and stuff. Crash! It just crashed. It keeps crashing, actually. Nice shot landed. Okay, we are not. Don't understand what's happening or Pulling so hard to the left and to the right. So I am not hitting buttons to do that. Stat report. Moderate damage. <laughs> Alright, well, we know where Droogs is, at least. We need to come back later. Because we're on fire. Thank you. Field repairs done. This was all I could do. Hey, you know what? That's pretty good. Maybe we can pilot snipe. Good shot. Target hit. Good. Okay, that was not too difficult. To hit him. It looked like he started on fire or something. I mean, we're on fire, sure, but. Good job, Francie. She is keeping us in this. You're gonna go bankrupt from these things. Started the engine a couple times. There we go.
Okay, so that one surrendered or something, I guess. Deal with this other one here, and then one of these days... Anything left. Good shot. Target hit. There we go. Defeat pirate gunships. Good. Now. Hey, ease off. Don't you know I'm old? I'm getting out of here. If I could just remember where I need to go. Can we keep shooting them down? I mean. You want your mommy? That's nice. Okay. By golly. Combat complete. Let's see what this thing is. Light lighthouse, maybe? Dark Moon Shrine. For centuries, this shrine has been a topic of unsolved mysteries and evil rituals, though the most popular tale of all would be the Moonlight Maiden that shows up at night. A ghostly woman waiting for her fiancé to return from the sea that claimed his life. It's been said she watches all who approach and is hostile towards living men. Interesting. Okay. We're gonna land. And then next time, we're gonna go check out Droog's place. All right, so first look at combat there. Not too bad. I definitely didn't do great at it. A little bit tricky. Plane can take a beating, and thank goodness for Francie being able to like repair. I can tell you've done this before. And then tentative reports. You're slightly, fatigued. slightly fatigued. I'm exhausted, lady. <laughs> we'll have to see what the shipyard does too. I think that can allow us to like go to other islands without having to fly there not sure be sure to come back next time for the first shout out to nodek express gaming in a video game that i'm aware of droog's place here pretty darn cool i'm excited thanks for watching <laughs>